From the airport we were taking the Sky Train to Vancouver city centre, which took around half an hour. We were staying at the Fairmont Hotel, but the room is not ready yet, so let's grab a coffee. This cafe was next door to the Fairmont, also recommended by the hotel staff. The trio of dessert was nice, especially this lemon delight. This is the view from our hotel, the stay was amazing, I will talk more about the hotel in one of my future videos. I did some research before coming to Vancouver and one thing I found was Japa Dog. It's a small chain of street food selling Japanese fusion hot dogs, with the first store opening in Vancouver. And honestly, it's one of the best things we ate on this Vancouver trip. Great taste and great price. Lemon yuzu drink was refreshing too. Sip on vino and then it hit more yeah. My baby holding me down While this room spinning around Tell on my mouth and then she kiss for hey, I hope that it's on the table There when I'm unstable It's the weekend all she wanna do is this Saw this cool ice cream place on Instagram. Mr. Ice Cream is made from scratch in the store with liquid nitrogen. Let's give it a try. It took about 5 to 10 minutes to decide what to get as everything looks so nice. We got the cup creme brulee and the large Oreo small. The small was massive and we couldn't finish it, but overall was quite tasty. This is the 4am ramen. By around 8pm we were really jet lagged. It was 4am in UK so I called this the 4am ramen. Starting to get a bit delirious so just wanted to grab a quick dinner and some comfort food. I can say it's probably one of the best ramen I've had. The noodles, the pork bone broth, the special spicy tar sauce, everything just works so well. The broth wasn't overpowering, I opted for the regular rather than the small size and even this bowl was massive and I just about finished it. After all, we are in Canada and it did take me some time to adjust to the larger portion sizes here. It's about 7am and we're going to see the Sky Gondola today. And when you're in Canada, of course you have to visit a Tim Hortons. A Canadian chain known for its signature premium blend of coffee, pastries and breakfast sandwiches. I had the muffin breakfast back with egg and sausage hash brown and a latte, very tasty. Coffee definitely tasted more premium and tasted nicer than a lot of coffee chains out there. Shop to see if there's any. 
high sweaters. <laughs> oh, hats. <laughs> Yeah. It's rainy today, but can you imagine what it would be like on a clear day? We took a shuttle bus from downtown on Cuba, it's like one hour. It brings us to sea to sky, on the Cuba, but then there's like loads of other stuff. Like, we bought the packages for like 108 dollars. Was it? 108 dollars. 108 dollars for some snowshoes as well. Oh yeah. So what are we gonna do when we get to the top? Snow 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 snowshoeing. Is it snowshoeing? Snowshoeing. Snow snow and I think there's a restaurant at the, at the top, isn't there? We hope so. <laughs> well, we got our Tim Hortons because we cookie. We're gonna need some lunch. Yeah. But it's snowing now. Look. Changing from rain to snow. Yeah. It's gonna be cold. Got our shoe snow and we're gonna go on the trail now. Ever 
to Sky Gondola is worth visiting if you are in Vancouver. There's plenty of activities to do. Even though it was snowing and we couldn't see much of the views, we still had an incredible experience with the snow. If someone asked me what my highlight of this Vancouver trip would be, I would definitely say Sea to Sky Gondola. You show up at my door with some coffee and croissants went to my favourite store Cause you can tell it's what I want I can't imagine more It's been a dream and far beyond Well, so then what am I so nervous for? Cause when it's good, just really good Then it should be too good I know that there must be a catch Just waiting around for the record to scratch But then you go again Top of Vancouver Revolving Restaurant is 553 feet high with a panoramic view of Vancouver which one complete revolution takes 60 minutes. We chose a free course set dinner which was $95. For starters I had the Caesar salad. Braised Australian lamb shank for the main course. The food wasn't bad, but the views were stunning. We couldn't finish the dessert, so we took this back to the hotel to eat. 